Welcome back to Mauros Films. Today we have a true TX gimbal for DSLR and mirrorless cameras. And it can hold up to 5 kilos of payload. We'll go straight to an in-depth review, after that on some test footage to see the stabilization and a conclusion if this gimbal is made for you. And yes, it has a wireless built-in image transmission that works with an app. So let's get straight to the point. This is a fully fledged 3-axis gimbal for bigger cameras, so I will treat it like that and see if it's great for your choice and actually if it can hold up to the others just like Zeon and DJI, because well, if you're entering this game with a bigger payload, you have to take note on some things from the others and basically invent something new to make it kind of better and desirable more than the others competitors. Let's get straight to an unboxing. You will get the gimbal in this soft shell case with all the daily things to get going. Tripod stand, battery base, upper part 3 axis module, follow focus motor, a dozen of cables for all major camera brands cable for charging, the integrated battery on the handle grip, and yes, the standard Manfrotto plate. Ok, so this gimbal is nothing revolutionary in the design department, and it resembles kind of the first Ronin S design with the dismantable handle with some additional features. The first feature is that you can actually disassemble the handle grip that holds the battery and the upper trigger axis part, so you will be able to throw it in any normally sized camera backpack. The integrated 4-cell handle grip has a capacity of 36 watt hour and can hold up pretty much 10 hours of stated battery operation. Remember, this gimbal can hold up to 5 kilos of payload. On the upper part, you'll find the today standard follow focus wheel, control joystick, mode button, record button, and recenter or rotate the gimbal. On the side, there is the power button and on the left side the A and B point for your follow focus points. There's just one one quarter screw option on this gimbal and it's on this side. So if you like to mount dedicated accessories on your gimbal, this will be maybe lacking some of the attachment points that I'm used on the Moza Air 2S or the Crane 2S. On one side you'll find also the LED light to check the charge on the gimbal. Five LEDs. Ok, so with this gimbal you can lock the arm, the roll and the tilt arm, but you can't actually find any lock on the pen arm, so when carrying it around and not filming you have to know that this will be kind of loose. Well, you can disassemble it and carry it around in multiple parts, so it should not be a big problem. The OLED screen layout will give you some basic info about the mode that you are in. The battery charge, if you connected the camera, Bluetooth, wireless connection, standard modes, like pan follow, GL that actually lock mode, HL locking mode with the pen activated, FPV mode and flashlight mode to make that always interesting inception mode. Holding up the M button, you will be able to select all the modes rotating the follow focus knob. There is enough space on the actual base and between the motors to actually hold up the Blackmagic 6K. And this is the test of it. The follow focus motor works just like intended and maybe in the future there will be some fine tuning for the motor because sometimes I having a little hard time to actually nail kind of the smallest focus points but for a big throw yeah it's going well. If you want to control the other settings on the gimbal, you will have to connect it via the Wi-Fi to get the third amazing feature. This gimbal has a dedicated transmitter built in into the plate and actually you can connect it straight via HDMI to your camera and feed it to your smartphone via the Inky Warthog hat. Or actually feed it to the another wireless transmitter straight to a monitor. <laughs> Just an amazing feature. So you will be able to control straight from the app. Start and stop recording joystick control, recenter the gimbal and select all the modes. And also loading your dedicated loot and selecting the streaming quality up to 1080p. You will have also the girds and the zebras. In the menu system you will have all the needed settings to fine tune your gimbal for the smooth cinematic ride. Torque of the motors, 
high, medium and low. Five customizable working modes. The dead band zone, follow rate for all the axes, control rate for all the axes and the smoothness. I have never seen so much customization for the perfect flow. Well done, Inky Warthog. I would like to have these basic features also built in straight on the OLED screen so you can control all of these features here. But well, I understand it, it's a smaller screen and just some cost savings. Basically, when I set up my gimbal through the app, I never get back to it. So, well, I can go on with that. You will be able also to update the firmware from it, download additional loots and check the version of it. This wireless module can get really helpful in lot of occasions. Not having to mount any other third-party wireless meters and to have a focus and composition checker. Sadly, for now there is no wireless follow focus module. So if you have a manual lens and you want to pull focus wirelessly, you'll have to get a third-party wireless system just like the PD Movie or Tilta Nano and so on. Ok, so we are now ready to get to the test footage with a wide angle lens and also with the Zeiss 55 to test actually how it holds up when you are kind of zoomed in. The footage looks amazingly stable thanks to the in-depth gimbal settings refinement you can make via the app. It's really smooth, stable even in 55mm lens. With the Blackmagic 6K on it, it's also doing a great job and I really can't say anything wrong about in this department. All the footage was filmed with the Sony A7S3 and the Blackmagic 6K. This gimbal retails for around 550 euros or around 600 dollars. It offers some genius features like the wireless transmission, handle disassembly and wireless app but it lacks some of the refinements in other departments. It's not so light at around 1.8 kilos with full focus motor mounted on it. And I'm not sure if there will be some upgrade by additional features, but as per today you have just one quarter screw mount on the side, no additional handles and other parts. And good feature is the addition of the 3.8 mount on the bottom of it. Yes, there are additional power ports on the plate, but don't understand why the charging port isn't a normal USB-C port. It is a dedicated charging cable with some reverse charging options and discharging functions. And I don't think you will ever use that on any occasion. Ok, so this gimbal with stabilizer footage excellent and it can be an alternative to more established brands. I can recommend it and you should consider it if you are going for a new gimbal. I am not sure if I will be switching to this gimbal, but it will be here to stay so I can use it if something happens to my other gimbal, so it will be a backup gimbal for sure. If you have any questions feel free to comment down below, I will be happy to answer them all. And until my next one, thumbs up if you liked it, subscribe with the bearing icon to get notified every time I make a new video and see you on my next one.